So three this morning, we know at least one person has died in Georgia and two traffic deaths in Florida are being investigated as possibly being storm related. Now, as Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas begin to clean up from Adalia, we're getting in new images of the damage. Marcella Robertson has been sorting through the feeds all morning long, bringing us fresh video to give new insight into the destruction. And Marcella, walk us through what you found. Yeah, guys, good morning. Lots to talk about here and still lots happening. Uh, this storm impacted four states after Florida weekend Adalia made its way through Georgia, then the Carolinas in this morning. We've been checking in on those areas. We're really just seeing a lot of reports of damaged property, so I want to walk through what we've seen so far. Let's start in Southport, North Carolina. That's near the Cape Fear River. What you're looking at here, this is video of a vet clinic and a social media post. The clinic confirming that the roof is gone. Part of the ceiling collapsed, but thankfully no one there was hurt. So that's good news there. A similar situation in South Carolina. Towns like Hilton Head, they saw a really strong wind and some flooding. Uh, the mayor there says they are only dealing with some property damage after about 30 or so trees came crashing down and of course dealing with power outages as well. Now before uh, that, Idalia's strong winds ripped through Georgia. Video you're looking at there. Uh, that is where tens of thousands of people are still without power. This what you're looking at here. Georgia Power tweeted this out. This is an example of what crews are up against right now in these recovery efforts. Uh, these trees down over power lines. This is in Lowndes County. That's only about an hour outside of town. Tallahassee, so a lot closer to Florida, obviously. And the Big Bend in Florida, this is where we saw the most significant damage. Coastal towns like Horseshoe Beach saw homes, businesses destroyed. This video here, incredible. It shows the moment that floodwaters swept this home away. You know, in the city of St. Petersburg, Pasco, Hernando, and Citrus counties, a lot of rescues happening there. First responders and the National Guard rescued dozens of stranded people. A Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was saying last night that the response, though, has been swift and people are getting the help they need. And while uh, again, many people have lost their their homes, a lot of property damage in Florida, no loss of life has been reported. And I also want to mention that all state bridges in Florida are back open this morning. And guys, just three hours ago, Tampa International Airport fully reopened for both arriving and departing flights. So we shouldn't be seeing that ripple effect on travel this holiday weekend that we were originally expecting. All right, Marcella, thanks for that update.